Welcome back. Well, there's concern over the high number of abandoned babies in Gauteng. Over 100 uh, findings were, or fondlings were actually left at various hospitals last year. This is a slight decrease compared with 145 abandoned in 2020. Now, what is contributing to these shocking statistics? We're joined now by the director of Door of Hope's Children's Mission, Nadine Grabham. Nadine, thank you so much for your time this morning. I mean, to even read out something like this, mm -hmm. you know, seeing that hundreds of babies have been left at public hospitals, um, it says something about perhaps the support system that exists for for mothers out there right and and also raises the question around how some of these babies are even um, conceived in the first place where we do know that gender-based violence and femicide is not something that is taken lightly in this country can you just share with a uh, light in terms of exactly where some of this these gaps are that we're missing as society good morning thank you so much for having me here um, Poverty plays a big role in babies being abandoned. As you mentioned, gender-based violence, teenage pregnancies, rape is also a big issue, and also failed illegal late-term abortions. Mm. More recently, um, we've seen two cases of mommies that actually reached out to social workers for help, and they didn't help uh, th these mommies. And it, it seems that the only other option they had was to abandon their babies. You know, uh, as you're speaking about how um, the support aspect, where the social work aspect comes in, is it because we've got different departments that are really overcapacitated in terms of responsibility? Just trying to get down to the reasons why is it that when mothers reach out for help, and as we're mentioning, some of these mothers were raped, right? So those kids, those women need the extra psychological, psychosocial support and the like. But why are we finding that when they do knock on the door, it seems as though the door is not being opened? I think it wasn't too long ago there was actually an article published where there is a shortage of social workers in South Africa and um, within the Department of Social Development, but maybe even in um, private child protection organizations, they're not necessarily always funded. So they overworked, um, there's not enough of them. And if we think of our, how many people we have in South Africa and the issue of teenage pregnancies, is it um, perhaps a case where these social workers just cannot get to all the cases that are passed on to them. Yeah. I'm just reading here the statistics. I mean, for example, uh, 15 babies being abandoned at Tembisa Hospital. Chris Haini Baragwanath Hospital had about 12 abandoned babies last year. 12 abandoned babies at Charlotte Matlaike, uh, Johannesburg Academic Hospital. Dr. George Mukare Academic Hospital had 10 abandoned babies last year. Seven babies, Far East Rand Hospital. Sibu Gang Hospital had seven babies. I mean, it, it really does become... Uh, Sure, like, like it's just one of those, it, it could become a pandemic if we don't find a way of being able to deal with it from, you know, the heart perspective. But do we have those kinds of resources that allow for mothers and are those resources accessible that allow the mothers to make informed decisions about their pregnancies? And, and, and one would say also, never mind informed decisions about their pregnancies, but also to be given just to be held. Sometimes I think mothers just want to be held in, in this case. Do we have enough resources to allow for that? To go back a little bit, I think baby abandonment is already a pandemic um, in South Africa. The numbers that you mentioned are just a drop in the ocean. They, these were babies that were safely abandoned in a safe place. How many babies are unsafely abandoned in South Africa? How many abandoned babies are actually never found? There are quite a few crisis pregnancy centers across South Africa, many homes like Door of Her Children's Mission, and there's baby savers as well. And like you say, a mommy sometimes just needs a hug. We often have mommies that come to our door, they just want to sit, we give them option counseling. And um, sometimes the reason why they want to give their baby for adoption is because they don't have food or blankets even for the baby. So wherever possible, we help that mommy. And I know there are many organizations that do pregnancy care packs, baby packs for new moms. And um, mommies just need to know where to reach out to. And I think often mommies don't actually know that there are places like this that can assist. Yeah. Nadine, something I think we don't also talk about often as society, sex workers with repeated deliveries. 
right? What are we finding when it comes to those statistics? I know that it's one of the reasons why we even have abandoned babies. And I don't know if we're actually zeroing in on, on, on the plight of sex workers, as well as some of the conditions they're subjected to, and the repeat delivery for many of them in many instances. I do believe that sometimes babies that are found um, abandoned are, are from sex workers and not necessarily abandoned by the sex worker, but by the so-called pimp that the sex, wo uh, sex worker falls under. And um, again, do these people actually get the necessary support? Um, and care, uh, why are they not using protection besides falling pregnant? Or is there no worry about uh, HIV in, in instances like this? Yeah. We'll leave it there for now. Nadine Graham, thank you so much for your time this morning, Director of Door of Hope Children's Mission there.